up to this point, all my All Figured Out episodes have always been sponsored by NEMA Studios, Flost and Paradise. They've sent me like new toys, they've sent me like loads of new stuff and I get to review the latest, most current, fresh stuff. But recently I've been thinking like, I own one of the UK's largest vintage toy collections I've collected all my life and I was raised by a toy dealer, like toy dealing and collecting and antiques dealing and trading and dealing runs in my family. So I've always had like a crazy collection of toys and I thought I should probably utilize that more on this channel. Like the room that I'm sat in right now, I'm surrounded by cool old toys and what I want to do is start a new series on this channel and it's still going to be all figured out, but it's going to be called All Figured Out Show and Tell. It's not sponsored by anyone, it's sponsored by me because I'm the one that's bought all these figures. Either bought them or had them given to me over the years or swapped them, but it's my own collection. It's not stuff that I've been sent by a company to, to plug and to look at and to review. This is all stuff that like I genuinely fucking love and I've gone I've spent all my life going all over the world and making contacts all over the world to acquire it. So what I want to do in this first episode is look at a, a, a type of toy that's very near and dear to my heart. As many people will know if they watch this show, I'm, a, I'm an independent filmmaker. I released an action movie called Unit 11, an action adventure movie. It took us years to put together. Like I poured every single ounce of my heart and soul into this film and it's gonna be released soon. It's currently with a bunch of film festivals. If you wanna find out more about it, you can look on this channel and it's called Unit 11. Type in Unit 11 trailer, E-L-E-V-E-N trailer. You'll be able to see it. But the reason that ties into what I'm doing today is because there's a reason that I love action movies and it's because I grew up loving the 80s action heroes and one of them well if not there's a rival which one you would say is the most iconic and to me the the complete the complete 50 50 one has never quite outdone the other they're both fucking awesome and it's of course Sylvester Stallone and Arnold Schwarzenegger my fucking heroes I love these guys and in the 80s these were like everywhere they're still everywhere now, but in the 80s, they were like the real life fucking superheroes. And as a kid, I loved to watch their movies. So what I'm going to do in this first episode is I'm going to talk, first of all, a little bit about something I have spoke about before, but it's quite it's quite funny because in the, in the 80s, if an action movie came out, whether it was a 12 or an 18, someone would put out a toy line of it. Normally Kenner, Kenner did a lot of the Schwarzenegger toys. They didn't do the Schwarzenegger toys that we're gonna look at today, but they did do a lot of them. And it's funny because you'd never get anyone nowadays making like kids toys. You'd get Funko Pops, but other than Funko Pops, you wouldn't get action figures of action movies, big action movies and horror movies that come out today, but back then you would. Uh, and, and it's just like one of the things I fucking love about the 80s. So what I wanna do today is have a look at an example of that toy line. And I said toy line, I haven't got all of them. I've just got a few pieces. But but it's, uh, I'm going to start with this one, Schwarzenegger Commando figures. Now, as you know, Commando is an 18. It was so fucking raw at the time that they chopped bits out of it. That wasn't abnormal in the 80s. They used to chop bits out of lots of movies. There was lots of times when someone would say a swear word and they'd blank it out and change it for something else like they do when you watch a movie on a plane. But like, even as bizarre as in the Ninja Turtles, Michelangelo in England didn't use nunchucks or if there was a picture of Bruce Lee on the back wall in a film and he had nunchucks in his hand, they would blur it out. Crazy stuff like that. The movie Three Ninjas, when it came out over here, had scenes with nunchucks and throwing stars taken out of it. In fact, the word ninja, you couldn't even have. That's why we had Teenage Mutant Hero Turtles. So it was a crazy time in the 80s that they cut movies. And I was talking about that because commando had whole scenes cut out of it like the famous potting the potting shed scene or when he breaks the dude's neck on the plane and he says don't wake my friend he's dead tired so why they would make a kid's toy line of it is just completely fucking bizarre to me but i love it so much so we're going to talk about some of those toys in these episodes and the first one that i want to talk about is these ones schwarzenegger commando i got there eventually <laughs> so we've got john matrix arnold schwarzenegger plays a guy called john matrix in this movie his daughter gets kidnapped he's an ex-special forces dude and he comes out of retirement for one last mission to get his fucking daughter back and none of these characters that are on the back of it appeared in this film so he's got the C team, Matrix, Speed, Blaster and Chopper, and then Fear team, Sawbones, Stoker, Leadhead and Psycho. None of these characters apart from Matrix took place in this movie, but they appear in this toy line. And it's so fucking funny. It's like a little G.I. Joe figure, but it doesn't have the articulation of a G.I. Joe. It doesn't even really look like Schwarzenegger, but I suppose 
if you were if you didn't know it was Schwarzenegger and you said to someone who do you think this toy is supposed to be they probably would say Arne because of the jaw and that kind of thing and I just love these figures so much they're a little bit dusty because I've had them on display he's got his little Uzi he's actually got a little Uzi 9mm like his famous line from Terminator 1 Uzi 9mm he's got that and then he's got that bizarre rocket launcher and I'm still I don't think this rocket launcher ever existed in real life the mad rocket launcher that they get in the movie that shoots four and then it's like one that you, you shoot four and then dispose of it that crazy scene in the movie where they they break into a gun shop and somehow get away with stealing like a million fucking dollars worth of straps including a rocket launcher and the girl that he um, semi kidnaps and then she joins him on some like Stockholm Syndrome weird shit uh, she ends up finding out how to fire the rocket launcher because she read the instructions first of all she fires it behind her and then she fires it forward wasting one of the rockets straight away so I haven't got the other ones in this uh, in this line, but if you're going to have any of them, you you want to have fucking uh, Matrix right there. And I, hopefully I'll get the rest of the line down the line. Like, I'm always on the lookout for toys. There's one figure from this line that I really want, and I'm going to talk about that at the end. So another thing that... Oh, and check this as well, just before we go on to the next thing. The price was $1.99. $1.99, man! Imagine, I'd have bought the whole fucking rack. And it's funny because it says, from ages 5 and up. So you had to be 18 to watch the movie, but if as long as you was 5 or up, you could get Schwarzenegger blasting a machine gun as a toy all fucking day. So cool. And then another thing that I've got here is this, the Schwarzenegger survival kit. <laughs> the Schwarzenegger commando survival kit. So you've got the little combat knife. You've got uh, the compass with a bit of string attached to it, and then you've got his hip flask there, look. His, his, uh, his commando flask. So fucking cool, and I'm so glad that no one ever opened this, because this is the kind of thing that your mum would just buy you on the way home from town. When so I, I always talk about these toys, uh, like when you were little, and your mum or your dad or your gran or your auntie would take you to town, they take you around town, shopping, doing all the boring shopping, all the like grown-up shit, she's got to go to boring shops like Atkinson's and Wilkinson's and buy house shit and clothing and food and all the boring shit you don't care about as a kid which I still don't really care about now but if you was well behaved and you was good your mom would be like if you're good I'll get you a toy but they'd go there last so that they could just play that on you all day so at any time you were not they were like carry on and you're not getting a toy so you'd be you'd be good and then they'd take you to like discount stores and things and, and you'd end up with some toy like this and uh you'd just rip it off the packaging and never think about how it would be valuable or, or cooler than it is like in the future so i'm so happy that no kid actually ripped this off the card because that to me is just like so fucking awesome if there was on the that, that compass and that knife i know that's got a commando sticker on it but if it didn't they are just like throwaway rack toy rack toys that you would see a thousand times and it would be repackaged as army man or ninja or some shit the fact it's commander when it's on the card makes it so fucking special to me and if you look on the back there's some other cool stuff including the commando combat vest and it says now you can wear the only authentic replica of the most sought after item of battle gear worn by colonel john matrix commando trademark look at all you get in one package you get an authentic commando vest M33 cap firing grenade. <laughs> Fucking grenade. Removable combat survival knife. Metal dog tags and chain. This rugged combat vest is equipped with D rings for your cap firing grenade, a bandolier which houses eight bullets and five combat utility gear pockets. But that's not all. Manufactured to ex exacting. Manufactured to exacting specifications. So this is manufactured apparently to the exact specifications of Schwarzenegger's vest in the movie. It's really not. <laughs> it's even got like a uh, like a, a plastic sealed picture of Schwarzenegger from the cover of the Commando movie VHS and poster with his uh, with his weapon stood like that, which is just like <laughs> he never had that on in the movie. A picture of himself on his uh, on his uh, flak vest. And five combat gear utility pockets. But that's not all. Manufactured to exacting specifications. This authentic replica of the vest. Regarded by the military as the best of its kind. Is made tough for years of wear. So you could wear this for years. In and out of battles. In and out of... In and out of missions. And never, and it'll never wear. Available wherever fine toys are sold. <laughs> Which was everywhere in the fucking 80s. So now you can join in on all the action and adventures as the C-Team battles the evil forces of fear. So it's like they were trying to make it like G.I. Joe, weren't they? You've got Cobra, they had fear. And like Mask. 
Mobile Armored Strike Command and, and all these things that used to come out of the 80s where they've got like a really iconic villain. So yeah, it's really it's really fucking awesome, and I'm so glad that no one ever took that off the off the package. Now there's something else on the back. This guy, the 16-inch super action figure, the man who has no equal. And lucky for me and you, because you get to see it, I've got this thing. Ta-da! There we are. This is the original giant 16-inch super action figure. And then if you turn it round, you've got a full-size picture of the artwork off the back of there. I'm going to get close up to this shit, so I'm trying to fit it all in camera. Which it won't do, because it's a huge fucking figure. But you've got a full-size picture of John Matrix there, comic book style. Proper old Marvel comic book style, blasting his machine gun. Uh, a gun that doesn't really exist. Look at that fucking gun. It's got like three barrels on the front and four barrels. Is that four barrels and a torch? So let's open the box a little bit, shall we? I've never done this before, but I'll do it for this. I'll do it for this video. I hope I don't damage anything. We're not going to damage it. Just to get a better look at it, I'm not going to undo all the tie twizzlers at the back, but you can get a nice, a nice look at the toy. I'll get some nice close-ups for you, but it really is fucking gigantic. I'll, I'll open the comic book. Oh voila! Oh no, it's sealed. I don't want to open it. I'm not going to open it because it's sealed. But inside, yeah, you've also got this little comic book which I can probably find online and have a good look through or get another one another day and open it or, or whatever but yeah I'm such a sucker for not wanting to open things that I ain't gonna be able to put back the same and this is sealed unfortunately the action-packed story of Colonel John Matrix so maybe this is like a prequel a prequel to the movie like how we became John Matrix or something like that and they're all his old team somewhere somehow someone's going to pay We'll keep doing this series. I want to call it the show and tell series because like I said, I've got a huge fucking collection of toys and I even have toys that like I'm only keeping for a bit because I'm going to sell them on or, fl or flip them on or, or eBay them or whatever. But I, I always um, I always get like a constant stream of cool shit. So I don't have all the time in the world to be able to do this kind of thing. But um, I, I've got lots of stuff in mind that I can show you uh, and, and the Schwarzenegger and Stallone toy collection are two of the things that I really, really want to show on this channel. <laughs> So again, I'm Theo Kane. Make sure you like this video. Drop a comment below if you liked it or let me know what you want me to uh, look at next time. Like I said, I've got bear shit. I've got loads of toy lines and I guarantee if you want me to review something, there's a, an 80% chance that I've got it or I can get hold of it to uh, review on the channel. So yeah, like this video, subscribe to the channel and share it to your other toy friends and we'll catch you next time in an episode of All Figured Out Show and Tell. But for now, we're gone. Boom. <laughs>